Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora and I'm working here as a functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see the case scenario of control to date view storage feature and disabling view calculations feature in Oracle FCCS application. So what is control to date view storage feature? Uh, in the application set, it uh, like the control to date view storage application setting provides the option of whether or not to store the two date view member values. By default, when you run the consolidation and translate rules, it automatically calculate and store all the value uh, view members value for QTD, YTD and HYTD members if they are enabled during the consolidation and translation process. But by choosing this option, by enabling this feature, the values uh, will not be stored in the QTD, YTD and HYTD members. Instead, they can be stored in QTD rule, YTD rule and HYTD rule members. Okay, so basically the result will be, uh, it will uh, result in a better performance of the application. It will result in smaller application size, faster consolidation times, faster restructure times and easier maintenance of the application. So, uh, we enable the control to date view storage option either during the application creation or from the application configuration screen for existing applications. Uh, in this case, the account should be the dense dimension. So when we enable this feature, the system will automatically add the following consolidate and translated rules to the application by default. So first rule is consolidated by views, uh, by selected view that will be added. The second rule is force consolidate by selected view. Third rule is translate by selected view. And fourth rule is force translate by selected view. Okay, so let's just go to the application. So this is the home page of my application and uh, basically I have already taken the screenshots of uh, I've actually performed the consolidation before enabling this feature and in order to actually track the performance like how much improvement has been done in the consolidation uh, time whether it has been reduced or not and whether the blocks have been reduced or not so I've taken the prior screenshots of the uh, consolidation process that I have already performed. So let me show you that. Okay, so as you can see that uh, this, uh, I have opened the rules and from this calculation manager, I can see that prior to enabling this rule, the number of existing blocks were 744. And when we see the consolidation time, which uh, take place normally, it was almost 17, uh, 16 seconds, all right? Okay, now we will actually run this rule First of all, we'll enable this and then we will run the consolidated by selected view rule in order to see the performance, how much improvement has been done. So, as you can see that the expected results will be application size will almost reduce by approximately 40% or more. Then consolidation time decreased will get decreased by approximately 40% or more and restructure times decreased by approximately 25% or more. Okay. So let's just see the step how to actually enable these features and how to perform the consolidation. So these are the steps basically. Okay. So we will see it practically in the application on the home page under application and we have to select configuration and from the enable feature screen, enable the control to date view storage feature. So basically, uh, this is just to enable this feature. So I will just show you this feature in the application. Under configuration. When you click on enable features, you can see that this has already been um, selected okay because I have already taken the screenshots uh, before uh, enabling this feature and now I've seen the results after enabling this feature I've already performed the consolidation okay so from here you can enable it later or uh, during the application creation you can enable it so first step is this once you enable this then the next step is to log log out and log in again in order to actually uh, uh, this feature like gets enabled or not in order to see that you have to log out 
then we have to uh, see the rules whether these that four rules that i have already shown to you uh, have been actually added or not okay so you can see that uh, verify uh, we will verify that the consolidate and translated by selected view rule will be added after enabling this option so let's go to the application again and verify Okay, so under rules, we will see that consolidate by selected view has been, uh, this uh, rule has been added. Okay. Then in the third step from rules, run consolidate by selected view on all months loaded to the application. The process will delete all QTD, HYTD and YTD data currently stored in the application. So what will happen? when you delete all this like uh, consolidated when you run this uh, rule so basically it will uh, all the data stored in qtd hytd and ytd member will get deleted okay so basically in the application you have to run this rule you have to run this rule just log me out wait So after running the consolidated by selected view rule, this will actually delete all the data from QTD, HYTD and YTD members and will move it to QTD, HYTD rule and YTD rule members. Okay, then you have to run one more rule in the application. So from rules, this is the other rule that we have to run. Okay, clear empty blocks. So after running, uh, it will actually, the description is there, rule to clear empty blocks. This rule for is for standalone execution. So after running uh, this consolidated by selected view rule and after running this clear empty blocks rule, you have to go to jobs and schedule a job. Okay. So let me go to the jobs. So as you can see that we have to actually click on schedule jobs and run a restructure cube job. Okay. So I'll do the same. I'll show you from where you can do from schedule job. We have this restructure cube job, which we have to run. Okay. So after following all these procedures, After uh, scheduling this job, we have to actually refresh our database and then test the consolidation time using this consolidated by selected view rule again. So basically, we have to run this rule again in order to actually see the time, performance time, okay? By how much uh, like time the consolidation time has been reduced, okay? So once we will actually run this consolidated by selected view for a particular entity scenario and for a particular period, then the result can be tracked under the job section, which I will show. Uh, I've already done it. So I will just show you the results. Okay. So see, this, this was my input sheet before, like uh, before enabling this control to date option. Okay, so this was my input sheet that the metadata that I have imported into the application. Then the result that I got was the data was there at the YTD member. All right. So after like I enabled that uh, rule, okay, control to date view storage rule, the uh, data will actually get deleted from this and will shift to YTD rule member. So after enabling that, this was my input sheet. And when I ran the consolidation, so the data, you can see that at the YTD level, it became zero. And at the rule level, it is there. We can see the data here. Okay. And if I talk about the performance, so earlier, the number of existing blocks were 744. Okay. And the, perform uh, the time of the consolidation in the job section was almost 16 seconds. But now, as you can see that the blocks came down to 538, which uh, it ensured that uh, the 30%, 30 to 40% performance will be increased. The size of the application will get reduced. So you can see that the uh, number of blocks got decreased and the consolidation time that it took is six seconds only. So there is a drastic change and a very good thing that the performance has been increased. Okay. Performance of the application.
so uh, this is actually used in practical world scenarios where, where there is a lot of metadata that is uh, imported or uploaded into the system so it can actually save hours okay in the performance it can improve a lot of uh, like uh, at a very good level the performance all right then additionally there is one more thing Okay, so basically, this is an additional feature that is disabling view calculations. Now, apart from this control to date future, uh, feature that is there in the application, it can be enabled at the time of creation of application or from the configuration, we can enable it later if the account is dense member. Okay, but in this case, we, we can enable it not at the time of application creation, but from the settings, we can actually uh, click a uh, ticket as uh, yes, this feature disabling view calculations. Okay, so what will uh, it will do? It will give the same results like it will actually delete the data from these members and it will move the data to these members. Okay, so it will also help in the performance of data loads only. All right. And it has been enabled um, like one more feature to it. If we still want to see the data at YTD, HYTD or QTD members. Uh, so what we can do, we can run this rule update view calculation so that uh, it will again show the data at these levels. Okay. After running this rule. So I will show you where this option is in the application. So from the navigator under settings, you can find this option. You can see that disable to date view calculations if you set it to yes and then click on save so what will happen it will do the same work okay so either you can use control to date feature or uh, you can use this option after the creation of the application and then once you do this and uh, then it will give you the same results i will show you the results as well So if I run this rule, update view calculation rule, it will again delete the data from the YTD member and uh, sorry, YTD rule member and it will uh, move the data to the YTD rule. Okay. So as you can see that uh, when you run this rule, then what will happen? The data from the YTD rule uh, is uh, actually deleted and it got shifted to YTD again. Okay, so this was the actual concept, how we can uh, use this feature to improve the performance of the application and to decrease the application size. So it will, uh, like users will get benefited from this a lot. Okay, thank you so much.